The purpose of this animation is to briefly present the main issues related to Halux Falcus deformity – appearance, risk factors, development and complexity of the deformation. We will also outline Chevron osteotomy procedure for Halux Falcus correction. What is Halux Falcus, commonly known as Banyan? At first glance, compared to a healthy foot, the foot with banyan has a painful prominence of the medial side of the first metatarsal head. Moreover, the big toe deviates towards the lesser toes. In fact, hallux valgus is a complex deformity of the first tray, whose cause and progression is multifactorial and complex. Evaluation of potential biomechanical relationships may be useful for surgical planning. Development of hallux valgus deformity As the deformity develops, the first metatarsal bone moves away from the second metatarsal. As a result, the forefoot widens. Due to the conflict with footwear, banyan growth occurs on the medial aspect of the first metatarsal head. Over time, the banyan may get bigger and more painful. In many cases, the first metatarsal may also be elevated at the same time. The first metatarsal elevation forces the lateral shift in forefoot weight bearing. Metatarsal heads from the second to the fourth are not adapted to accumulative plantar pressure. As a result, banyan is often accompanied by forefoot pain, so-called transfer metatarsalgia. What are the most common risk factors for hallux valgus? Congenital predisposition, first try hypermobility, female, calf muscle or Achilles contracture, high-heeled shoes with narrow toe boxes, and rheumatoid arthritis. Let's move on to surgical treatment. Surgery is the only way to get rid of the hallux valgus deformity, but we'd like to point out that the primary goal of surgery is to eliminate pain associated with structural and biomechanical abnormalities related to hallux valgus. To recap, pain is the main indication for surgical treatment. This animation briefly shows the chevron method, often used to correct hallux valgus deformity. The first step of the procedure is the removal of the medial eminence. Next, chevron, distal diaphyseal osteotomy is performed on the first metatarsal. It involves a V-shaped cut and it's performed to enable the correction in selected directions. The first one is the lateral shift of the metatarsal head. The second is the salmitinous plantar displacement of the metatarsal head. Following the proper correction, the osteotomy is fixated with a titanium Herbert screw. The Herbert screw allows for bone fragments compression and osteosynthesis. This is a low-profile screw not irritating soft tissues, therefore it doesn't need to be removed. Finally, the excess bone of the proximal metatarsal fragment is sheared. As a result of the surgery, the painful banyan is reduced and the forefoot becomes narrower. In addition, the plantarization of the first metatarsal head improves pressure distribution under loading conditions, eliminating transfer metatarsalgia. We present an example of the foot before and after banyan surgery performed at our hospital.